All right, Slogmaster fans, this is a 1980s cable classic, one of those nudie films you'd see a lot of. Nana, although it's actually pronounced Nana. Let's watch. Well, this is a like burlesque house, and this is Hector on the left. Yes. And what do you think of it? I find it almost incredible. Yes, indeed incredible. That's what it is. Katya Berger plays Nana. This is her in the tub. I think he's very handsome. handsome. She's one of the stars of the show. Who cares if he's handsome? He hasn't got a sou. So tonight they're showing off this new thing, motion pictures. Basically what you got here are stag films, starring Nana, Hector Likes. <laughs> this guy Steiner is all obsessed with Nana. I'm in love with her. From that that girl is wonderful. We must meet this beautiful Nana. No problem? No problem? I can't show you what they're looking at, but from this point on everybody is spying in these rooms where all the ladies are naked or having sex with other men. Well, Steiner does pay for Nana and uh, gets to have her. You can get far more than that. The man's wallowing in it. I'll bet he paid Fonta more than twice that amount. Don't give in so easily next time. Make him beg. Listen, Hector. Hector's fiance, Renee. I hardly see you anymore. I don't know where you are, what you're doing. Renee, I. I don't care. I've decided to break our engagement. Oh, no, you can't. This is Count Mufa Mufa, who's also Hector's father. He likes the beautiful Nana as well. You are very lovely. Thank you. Pockets. You're well paid to get your share. Besides, I've got my own ends to think of. This place is expensive to run. Well, don't think I'll spend the rest of my life slaving for you. But do as you please. Steiner's obsessed with her. What does that mean? I'll give you anything. Anything you want. Steiner, love it. I love well, he said it. anything, so she made him give her a house. Do you realize what these cavalies were? And it's in her this name. Is one of the best residential parts of Paris. Turns out Hector and Mufa are her next door neighbors. I've seen your show at the minor tour and I adore you. Make your promise. We'll get together, just you and I, on your wedding day. That's an easy day for you to remember. And if you really adore me, you'll be only too happy to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the hunt. But they're not chasing foxes. That's right, the men are chasing completely naked women through the woods, capturing them, and then sleeping with them, which I can barely show you anything of this. While watching The Hunt, she meets Satin, played by Deb Deborah Berger, her real-life family member. Nana. Sister, half-sister, stepsister, I'm not sure. Mufat plays a visit again. Oh, Nana. My Nana. I... If only you knew. I'm sorry. Remember Steiner, who gave her the house? Go away! He's now she banished. Please, ask you want to see me? This is my house! No, it isn't. It's in Nana's name. Oh, what nonsense is this? Zoe! Come on, you're my horse! What do you do? She's now becoming very empowered and... Treating your men like animals. This is a horse. She even makes some fetch sticks like a dog. Later on, she has a lesbian scene, which I can't really show you with Satin. I can't remember. This is Katja Burger and Deborah Burger. They're family members, either stepsisters or half sisters. I don't know, but they are family.
She's introduced to this black guy named Bijou, who's basically in the employ of being a, a, a fighter. They go into the horse stall and uh, she samples a little bit of Bijou. You want me to seduce Abby? Why not? She doesn't have a lover. And she's a good looking lady. Me and Sabi. Hmm. I'll do it. But... Here's the fight that Bijou is in. They have like these Freddy Krueger claws on their hands and they slice each other. Somebody poisoned Bijou's drink. He died. And Mufat had a bunch of money on him, and he's pretty much lost everything now. I am ruined. And I'm not only thinking of myself. What about my family, my poor wife? And now I wanted that one guy to seduce uh, Mufat's wife, and. He gets busted in the act, which leads to a duel between the two of them. This now belongs to the Steinert Bank. This is to include furniture, personal belonging, clothing, pictures and paintings. In short, get out. Hector's wedding takes place, and right after the wedding, Nana flashes her boobs at him, and it's too much for him to resist. He leaves his wife and chases after Nana. And he catches her. And they're going to make love in that carriage. Our movie ends with Nana boarding a hot air balloon with a guy. She's off to India to meditate, and everybody says goodbye to Nana. All right, another review from the couch tonight for Nana. Now, if you grew up in the 80s like I did and had cable, your Showtimes and your movie channels, HBO, Cinemax, Late nights, cable in the 80s, you saw movies like Nana, and I saw this one quite a bit. And I taped it, and uh, I remember watching it quite a bit, too. Of course, in my adolescence, this was a good film to watch, right? What we have here is a woman um, named Nana, stars a star who's, who's played by Katya Berger. I have another movie of hers called Little Lips, which she was very young in, and it's hard to believe if a film like that could ever be shown. But anyway, I might review that at some point down the road, too, but... Anyway, Nana, Katya Berger, she's a woman, and uh, she becomes like this Paris icon. She's working in this um, burlesque show type thing, and uh, she does a lot of nude work. There's very early uh, video, or uh, not video, but film that she's doing, like silent films, like stag films from like 1900 or so. She gets involved with that. Well, she's quite beautiful, and uh, she's uh, popular amongst the older men who frequent these establishments, and they want to spend time with her. So they basically, I mean, she's it's, she's like a prostitute too, but uh, somebody tells Nana, hey, look, um, make men pay for it. Don't just give in so easily. If they want you, make them pay. And that's what she does. She kind of gets empowered. So she has all these men lusting after her, and she keeps holding out and holding out until they give her more and more and more. Eventually, she gets a guy to give her a damn house. And the house is in Nana's name as well. Uh, and then she pals around with this guy for a while, and then she ends up kicking him out of his own house. Of course, it wasn't his house. He signed it over to Nana. Um, there's this other older man who lives next door who wants her. Um, plus, the guy's son, Hector, um, also wants Nana, he's, even though he's engaged to this woman named Renee. Um, Nana sleeps with anybody she wants to. She sleeps with this uh, black guy named Bijou who gets involved in this weird like fight with Freddy Krueger knives at the end of his fingertips. I don't know what that was. Of course, the main, the big thing I remember about this movie is The Hunt. Nana, now that she has her own house, organizes what's called The Hunt. It's like a fox hunt uh, with men on horses, except they're not chasing foxes. Well, I guess they kind of are foxes. They're naked ladies. There's naked women running around through the woods, and these guys on horseback got to go catch them. And then once they catch them, they have sex with them. And then we have a lot of scenes that are very, very risque for a cable movie like this. No hardcore uh, at all, but it was very, very close. Um, and there was some genitalia flopping around. And, um, wow, quite a film. So... Anyway, Nana also is kind of a bitch a little bit in this movie. She um, she just kind of pushes people around once she gets a little uh, power under her. Um, finally, at the end of this movie, 
she, Hector gets married to somebody else, Renee, and then Nana is at the wedding and she flashes her tits at the guy. And then the guy leaves his wife, his new new bride, and runs after Nana in this coach and catches up with her. And then they sleep together. And then, uh, I, I don't know, I guess he must have gone back to his wife. Because at the end of the movie, Nana is leaving Paris to go to India to meditate. And she's leaving in a hot air balloon. And um, that's how the movie ends with everybody basically waving goodbye to Nana. Oh boy, what a film. Now, it's interesting this movie. There was a little lesbian action going on uh, with Katya Berger and Deborah Berger. Now, notice their names are the same. That's because they're either stepsisters or half sisters, and it's kind of hard to know for sure. IMDb and most sources online say that they are uh, half sisters. They have the same father, a guy named William Berger. Um, however, I saw one comment somewhere that said everything you see online is wrong. They're actually not. Steps or half sisters, they're stepsisters. William Berger is the father of Deborah Berger, and William Berger ended up marrying this woman named Hanja, something or other, who was actually uh, Katya Berger's mother, uh, but her father is this different man. I don't know. So why did she take the name Berger? Maybe she, maybe Mr. Berger adopted Katya. I don't know. Or maybe they are actually half sisters. I, I don't know. Either way, they it sounds like they were raised together, half sisters or stepsisters. Maybe they share the same father, who knows? But they had a lesbian scene together. Now that seems kind of odd to me. Either it's half incestuous or just it's just wrong because they were stepsisters and they grew up together. I don't know, but they had some lesbian scenes going on here. Wow, this movie has, uh, wow, it's got a lot going on. So anyway, that is Nana. Now I have this on a DVD. It was one of those, uh, I think it was like an archive thing that MGM put out. Now they've put out a Blu-ray up. Uh, Thanks to the good folks at Scorpion. So, movie looks great. It's widescreen. It's probably as uncut as you'll ever find it. It's an hour and 32 minutes or so. And um, it's something. It's a relic of the 80s. <laughs> it brings back memories to me. It's very nostalgic. And uh, I'm ashamed to say I, I just remember a lot about this movie. And it's still fresh in my mind. So, anyway, that is Nana. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Let me know what you think about it. By the way, I just had a curiosity. I went to look to see if I could find uh, Katja Berger's Facebook page. And I found her. Different last name now, but I definitely found her, and she still looks pretty good. She's like 57 years old now, but she still looks good. Anyway, check it out. Katya Berger as Nana. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.